The chassis you found on Thingiverse has one or two little interferences with your build. So what do you do? You design your own chassis. Welcome back to the channel guys. We're back at the dining room table today because honestly the audio is just better here. There didn't seem to be a whole lot of interest in another build with my SCX24 off of the first video. But I was still really interested in finishing this build and having a little fun with it. So the build goes on. If you saw that video, I mentioned how this chassis that I found on Thingiverse was designed for some upgraded parts for the SCX24. Basically, long story short, this skid plate will not bolt up without cutting or modifying this rear electronics tray here. And you can see I had it marked where I was gonna cut it. And I started thinking about it and I just opened up Fusion and started designing my own chassis. This is modeled around some images of Ultra 4 trucks I found online. Like I mentioned, I really like that look and wanted something like that. So I used some reference images as well as some dimensions that I took off of this chassis. Now we got the thing printed. I got some of the support structure cleaned up. We're gonna put this thing together and actually go test it out today. If everything works like expected, I'd really like to release this chassis on Thingiverse for you guys. That way anyone who wants a build similar to this with a stock SCX24, you'll have another option for a chassis out there. Full disclosure, as much as I love suspension and chassis design in general, I am not an engineer, so I have no clue how well this is gonna really work out. I'm also not that experienced in RC crawling, so this might not be the best performing chassis. I just really like the look of it and wanted to see what I could put together. There's really not too much technical details here. The SCX24 skid plate is just gonna bolt right into this chassis and the links are gonna bolt in their original locations. I have multiple shock mounting points here. We're gonna mount the shocks up, put the original factory electronics in and get this thing out on the rocks. A bunch of design time and 3D printing later. That looks pretty sweet. Just a couple things I wanna mention real quick before we head out to the rocks. The lengths that I have here on this truck are the length of the Chevy C10 SCX24 lengths. They're a little shorter than the deadbolt lengths. Obviously, I designed this around these hot racing long travel shocks. I'm not 100% happy with the shock mounting location in the back. I don't have a lot of travel. I would have liked a little more travel. I may print me an adapter to be able to drop the shock mounting location down a little bit just so I don't have to reprint an entire chassis because I'll probably move this location down in the completed files. Beyond that, it's a pretty tight fit to get all these electronics in here, which I knew, but everything works well. There are some slots modeled into the battery tray in the back here to use the original battery strap, but honestly, it's not really needed. You can see that battery's not really coming out. It's a pretty tight fit to get the battery in underneath this cross brace. So just leaving it there is fine. Besides that, plugging the battery in is a little tight with the tweezers or a needle nose pliers. It makes it a bit simpler though. Really love the look of this thing. I'm just kind of curious now how my design is gonna perform out on the rocks. So let's head out there and see.
Again, I'm no expert in crawling, but I'd call that a success. This little thing was really fun no matter what terrain I put it on. A little rock garden outside, in the field, climbing around on the tree. It really didn't matter. This little thing performed pretty well and was a whole lot of fun. Besides that one little design change that I'd like to do on the back to get the shots mounted a little lower, have us a little more travel, I'd say this design worked out pretty well, especially for someone who has no experience designing crawler cages or chassis. I'm sure with a little help from somebody who really knows these little micro crawlers in and out and what works well, maybe some of you swapping around different parts could make this into a really competitive, capable little crawler. This is more than enough for what I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead now and blow this thing back apart to prep it for paint and put a nice little paint job on there. Again, I'm just super impressed with this, really like the design. It looks awesome and performed like I wanted. If you're interested in building one of these yourself, this is up on Thingiverse. By the time you see this video, I'll have a link down below in the description. I'll probably include these original files so you could build it exactly like I have here, as well as lowering these rear shock mounts. There's also some side number plates through, that I designed up okay. that you can so screw yeah, to the side here if that fits <laughs> your liking. <laughs> it's something I've seen a lot in the reference photos um, when looking at ultra full uh, buggies and trucks. And although I didn't print them for mine just yet, I figured some of you might like that. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more micro crawler action here. I definitely see myself driving this a lot more. It's pretty fun and actually relaxing to just sit there and drive around crawl over some rocks. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below if you pick up the files for this chassis and attempt to print it yourself. This was printed on a resin printer, but I'm sure it could be printed on some FDM printers as well with the correct support settings. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos on this little truck. And as always, thanks again for watching. Peace.